July 2018. The International Aerospace Fair Airshow China has an unexpected star. All eyes are on the fifth-generation stealth fighter J-20, but suddenly, the public's focus changes dramatically. In the air, another one of the modern combat aircraft in the Chinese Air Force's arsenal, the Chengdu J-10, can be seen. While the aircraft was known, the public had never seen the spectacular maneuvers it performs in the skies. The Chinese fighter is about to perform one of the most difficult and famous maneuvers in history, only possible for the most experienced pilots and a small handful of aircraft, the Pugachev's Cobra. In this new video from Military Aviation, we will learn more about this nearly impossible maneuver and how China's J-10 managed to join the exclusive group of aircraft capable of performing it. To begin, we must travel back in time to June 17, 1989. An airshow at Le Bourget, Paris, is the stage where a Soviet Sukhoi Su-27, piloted by Viktor Pugachev, is about to do the unimaginable. The blue Russian fighter begins to raise its nose until it is practically stationary. Most surprisingly, without losing altitude, the aircraft immediately returns to its original trajectory and continues as if nothing happened. That date would be remembered by the world as the day the Cobra was unveiled, and thanks to the feat's creator, it would later be renamed the Pugachev's Cobra. However, over time, the true origin of this fantastic and demanding maneuver would be revealed. Contrary to popular belief, it was Swedish pilots who developed this technique, not for style or strategy but out of necessity. This was because the Swedish Saab 35 Draken fighter had a tailless design that made it prone to a sudden loss of lift, which was very difficult to recover from. This means that the aircraft could lose its lift and stop flying at any moment, so its pilots were trained with a specific maneuver that allowed them to change the angle of attack to counteract the loss and level the plane again. In technical terms, this maneuver is called dynamic deceleration and involves raising the nose of the aircraft to an angle between 90 and 120 degrees, and then returning it to its natural position. While it may sound simple to achieve, its distinctive vertical pitch requires instability in its central aerodynamics that allows the aircraft to rapidly change the angle of attack without overloading its structure. Additionally, it requires a speed fast enough to maintain forward motion when returning to level flight, but at the same time, slow enough to avoid subjecting the pilot to high g-forces or damaging the aircraft's structure. This instability is not a normal requirement in aerodynamics, which is why not every aircraft is capable of performing this demanding maneuver. There is a select group of fighters capable of performing Pugachev's Cobra, including the Saab 35 Draken and the Su-27 Flanker as its early prominent demonstrators. Furthermore, derivatives of the Russian combat aircraft, including the Su-35 and the fifth-generation Su-57, also join the list, along with another compatriot, the MiG-29. In the West, the powerful F-18 Super Hornet and F-22 Raptor of the United States are the only American models with the necessary qualities to achieve the maneuver. Now, with the aim of not lagging behind in any of the capabilities of its rivals, during the International Aerospace Fair Airshow China in July 2018, China added its own contender to the list of powerful and highly maneuverable aircraft. It is the Chengdu J-10 Vigorous Dragon, which, thanks to its constant modernizations, is equipped with thrust vector control that allows it to perform seemingly impossible aerial maneuvers. This single-engine combat aircraft developed for the People's Liberation Army Air Force is in the same category as the American F-16. In fact, the Chinese fighter is indirectly based on the American design as it was developed in resemblance to the Israeli Lavi, an aircraft built from the F-16. While in some technological aspects, the Asian aircraft still lags behind the American platform, the J-10 now is something that the F-16 does not, thrust vector control capability that takes its maneuverability to the next level. Thanks to this, the jet can direct its exhaust, allowing it to point its nose in one direction while propelling itself in another. In traditional aircraft, the direction of the engines dictates the direction of the aircraft. 
Engines point forward, so planes naturally move forward. Pilots use traditional control systems like rudders, elevators, flaps, ailerons, and brakes to steer the aircraft where they want to go. With thrust vector control, this concept is changed. The system, initiated in the United States in the early 1990s, allows for directing the engine exhaust, enabling the aircraft to move in a different direction from where the engine points. As a result, aircraft using this system can perform seemingly impossible aerial maneuvers. Modern thrust vector control technology uses a movable nozzle instead of the vanes used in the past. Using this system, the F-22 Raptor can tilt its thrust up to 24 degrees up or down. Russia also incorporates it into its fighter features, and now China joins this elite club of super-maneuverable combat aircraft with the J-10. During the Zhuhai Airshow, the fighter aircraft performed a complete and complex demonstration, including closed vertical loops, the maneuver called the Falling Leaf, and the nearly impossible Pugachev's Cobra, showing that it can keep up with its military rivals. Although the combat effectiveness of a maneuver like the Cobra is debated, theoretically, it could be used to evade missiles or launch an attack in an unexpected direction. For example, if a Chinese fighter is pursued by a rival combat aircraft, it could perform the maneuver to be overtaken and take a position to ambush the enemy, using the movement in real combat and taking advantage in direct confrontations. However, beyond achieving this milestone by including its own aircraft in the list of the most capable and maneuverable combat fighters, maneuvers like Pugachev's Cobra also require a high level of skill from the pilot. This is where China will need to continue perfecting its forces if it wants to compete on equal terms with experienced and well-prepared members like the United States Air Force. That is part of the path that the Asian country will have to follow if it intends to fulfill the fears of its major rivals in Washington and become the world's leading military power in the coming decades. In any case, the first step has already been taken, and Chinese aviation can claim that it is capable of keeping up with Russia and Western giants in terms of technological innovation. Now, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much for joining us until the end. And stay tuned to our channel to reunite in the next video.